Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you joining me for the first time, my name is JT. Namaste. It's very nice to have you here today. So today is um, day 15, day 16 of uh, the circuit breaker in Singapore. Um, but, you know, with, with all these things that are happening in, around the world, it's still so important to find your grounding and to find a very nice, simple flow. So for today's little session, I thought it would be quite nice to just go through a little flow fast that you know, I just like to do in the morning. Really just listening to what your body needs and what your body wants for the morning. So when you're ready, just come to a seated position on your mat. Place your palms over your knees if that is for you today. If you like to sit in hero's pose, Take that option as well. And when you're ready, just slowly close your eyes. Try to straighten your backbone a little more to reach your crown to the ceiling and your sit bones grounded nicely to the floor. We'll start this session with three deep inhalations. Inhale deeply. And exhale slowly. Inhale deeply. And exhale slowly. One last time. Inhale deeply. And exhale very slowly. Take this time now to arrive on your mat, to forget all of the stresses of the world, of work, of school, and the family behind, and dedicate the next few moments to yourself and your practice. Gently now, blink open your eyes with a beautiful smile. So the start of today's practice is just so good to warm up the entire body. So we're just going to go for a few rounds of neck rotations. So first just drop your head down, look towards your navel. Slowly rotate it over to your right side, look to your right. Bring your head up, look towards the ceiling. And then drop it to the left. Look towards your left shoulder. And when you're ready, look back down towards your navel. Very nice. One more round on this side. Look towards your right. Then bring it up to look towards the ceiling. And when you're ready, drop it to your left. Look over your left shoulder. And then drop to look towards your navel. Now we're just going to change directions. Roll it over to your left. Then slowly look towards the ceiling. Drop it to your right. Then look towards your navel. One more round on the side. Look over your left shoulder. Then roll it up, look towards the ceiling. Slowly drop it to your right. Look over your right shoulder. Then drop it to your navel. Slowly bring your head up to neutral. On your next inhalation, rise up, raise up rather, your left hand, walk your right hand away from your body. Feel a very nice stretch on the entire right side. If this is too much for you in the morning, just place your hand down, your, your palm firmly on your ground, and just stretch over like this, very nice. And on your next inhalation, come back to center. Bring up your right hand this time. Walk your left hand away and feel a very nice stretch. Then come back to center. We'll do this one more time on each side. Hopefully we can go a bit deeper. Once again, raise your left hand. Walk your right hand away. Maybe this time, ground your entire elbow to the floor. Make sure your sit bones are still grounded nicely. Stretch your entire left arm away from your body. 
Try to rotate the chest to shine towards the ceiling a little more. Very nice. Just stay here and breathe. On your next inhalation, slowly come back up to center and then we will change sides. So once again, doing the same thing on your right side, walk your left hand away from your body. Make sure your sit bones are grounded. Stretch your right arm overhead. Then rotate to shine your chest towards the ceiling. Stay in here, breathe. Very nice. Do a very long stretch all over your right side. And on your next inhalation, come back up to center. And then try to sit a little taller as you place your left hand on your right knee. Your right hand goes behind. As you inhale, lengthen the spine first. And as you exhale, try to look towards the back of your room. With every inhalation, lengthen the spine a little more. And as you exhale, twist a bit deeper. On your next inhalation, come back to center. And then you will change sides. So once again, inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, look towards the back of the room. Stay in here, breathe. Very nice. As you inhale, once again, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, maybe twist a bit deeper. On your next inhalation, come back to centre. And slowly make your way to a very comfortable tabletop position. So now that we're in a very nice tabletop position, we're just going to warm up the wrist a little more first. So as you inhale, just sit all the way back down to child's pose. And as you exhale, rock all the way forward, your hips coming forward a little more. Put a bit of pressure on your wrists. Inhale, once again, sit all the way back to child's pose. And as you exhale, rock over your wrist once again. Very nice. Inhale, sit all the way back to child's pose. And as you exhale, rock over your wrist. Very nice. This time round, sit back to child's pose. And then move towards your left side in a clockwise direction. Roll over your wrist, over to your right. And come back all the way. Do three rounds on each side, very slowly. As slowly as you like. And if there's any points of tightness that you just like to pause for a little while, you can slowly take that. It feels nice. When you're done with three rounds in your clockwise direction, slowly move to your anti-clockwise direction. Once again, moving as slowly as you like, or as quickly as you like, pausing at any points that just need a bit more attention. And when you're ready with your all your three rounds, just come back to stillness. Just pause and notice the difference, any tingling sensation on your wrist or your fingers. Notice the difference. And as you inhale this time, drop your belly, look towards the ceiling, come to your cow pose. And as you exhale, squeeze everything in, look towards your navel, protract your back a little more. Once again, as you inhale, drop the belly, look towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, curl everything in, look towards the navel. Feel a very nice stretch in your upper back. Inhale, drop the belly. Once again, look towards the ceiling. Pause here for a little while longer. And on your next exhalation, curl everything in. Look towards the navel once again. Pause here for a little longer. Keep breathing. On your next inhalation, come back to neutral spine. This time, tuck your toes. And on your next inhalation, 
Hover the knees a few centimeters off the ground, suck in your belly, protract your back, look in between your palms, stay here and breathe for three, for two, and one, drop the knees, very nice. On your next inhalation, once again, hover the knees, suck in the belly, protract your back for three, for two, and one, one last time over here. On your next inhalation, hover the knees, suck in the belly, protract the back for three, for two, and one. This time, push back to your downward facing dog. Very nice. If this is your first dog of the day, slowly walk out the dog. So I usually like to just pedal out my feet a little bit over here. And then maybe I'll sway from side to side, just like this. Maybe stretch out the back, bend your knees as much as you need to. It's like as if you're a little doggy, really stretching out the back. It feels very nice. And when you're ready, just slowly come to stillness and you're done with the facing dog. And on your next inhalation, just lift up your left leg. Open it up into a scorpion tail. Very nice. Try and look underneath your right armpit. Try and find your foot if you can. Just stay here and breathe for three breaths. And on your next inhalation, bring your knee Bring it to your nose and then bring it back up. Three legged dog. On your next inhalation, bring your left knee to your left elbow. Bring it out. Three legged dog. Once again, on your next inhalation, bring it to your right elbow. This time, your left knee taps your right elbow. Then push it back out. Three legged dog. And if you like, Bring your knee in once again. This time, cross it over to your right side. Lift up your arm, come into a fallen star. Look towards the ceiling if that's for you today. Very nice. Then, plant your hands down. Bring your leg back. Come into a child's pose. It's a very good little warm up to start the body. Get all your muscles to work together. After a long slumber, sometimes it gets, you know, your whole body just feels really tired. And as much as it's energized, it doesn't want to move in the morning, so this really does help it. So once again, on your next inhalation, come back to the tabletop first. Then slowly push up to your downward facing dog. Same thing now on your right hand side, on your next inhalation, lift up the leg, your right leg, then curl over to your scorpion tail. Look under your left armpit, find your right foot if that is for you today. Stay here and breathe for three breaths. On your next inhalation, bring your right leg, your right knee rather, to your nose, tap it. Then bring it back up, three-legged dog. Slowly bring your right knee to tap your right elbow. Then bring it out, three-legged dog. Once again on your next inhalation, right knee to left elbow, tap. Then bring it out, three-legged dog. And if you like, slowly curl in your right knee. Then drop it over to your left. And once again, fall and start. And then look towards the ceiling. Just feel the very nice stretch over here. On your next inhalation, plant your hands down. Bring your foot back. Then come into a child's pose. In your child's pose, maybe take a white leg at child's pose if that is for you today. Stay in here, breathe. 
Slowly walk your hands all the way back. Come to sit in your hero's pose. Pause here for a little while. Notice how your body has all gotten quite fired up. Maybe a bit more awake than it was a few minutes ago. And when you're ready, just come to stand on the tops of your mat. And we're just going to come and do three rounds of sun salutation. So as you inhale, raise your arms all the way up. Look up towards the ceiling, straight back. As you exhale, fold from your hips, come into your Uttanasana. Forward fold. This is your first Uttanasana of the day. Your belly and tie may not touch, just like mine. But you just bend your knees as much as you need to. Get your belly and tie to touch. Just let yourself hang there for a little while. Slowly straighten up the knees if you can. On your next inhalation, looking up. And as you exhale, plant your hands down, step your right leg back, then your left leg back. And if you like, take a chaturanga and notch knees, chest and chin. On your next inhalation, slide up to cobra or upward facing dog. And as you exhale, push back. Come into downward facing dog. As you inhale, step your right foot in between your palms, then your left foot. And as you exhale, fold a bit deeper over here. Feel a very nice stretch on your hamstrings. On your next inhalation, raise your arms all the way up. And as you exhale, bring your palms together, Samasthiti. Once again, inhale, raise your arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to get your belly and tie to touch. Inhale, halfway lift, straight back. Exhale, plunge your hands down, step or hop your way back to Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin this time. Inhale, to upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, push back. Downward facing dog. On your next inhalation, looking forward, step or hop your way to the top of the mat. And as you exhale, fold a bit deeper here. Inhale, raise your arms all the way up, straight back. Exhale, samasthiti. One last round here. Inhale, raise your arms all the way up, straight back. Exhale, forward fold from the hips. Very nice. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands down, step or hop your way to Chaturanga. Inhale, come up to Cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Now just pause here in your downward facing dog before we move into our next few standing poses. Try and ground your heels as much to the floor if they're not touching yet. Try and lengthen your butt back, straighten it as much as you can. Point your hips towards the ceiling. Very nice. Stay in here and breathe. Three breaths. Inhalation, raise up the right leg first, so three-legged dog. Before you draw the knee to your nose, then step it in between your palms. Bring your back foot down, slowly come into your warrior one. In your warrior one now, just be mindful that your hips are squared towards the front of your mat. Look in between your palms, sink a bit lower. Very nice. On your next inhalation, looking forward, slowly float your way to warrior three. And your warrior three, try and form a very nice T shape over here. And then as you inhale, slowly drop your back foot down, come into your warrior two. In your warrior two over here, be mindful of your alignment. Very nice, sink a bit lower. On your next inhalation, drop your palm down. Come into your extended side angle. 
and then on your next inhalation, your next breath, revolve this angle, very nice. Look towards your palm, inhale, come back to warrior two, exhale, cut, wheel your hands down, this time slowly hop your back foot to come to a standing split, if that is for you today. On your next inhalation, drop your back foot down, come back, warrior one. Then plant your hands down, if you like, take a vinyasa, or if not, come to your child's pose. And we all meet back, down, facing dog, for three breaths. You're in your child's pose, continue to just stay there. Do whatever feels right for you today. On your next inhalation, lift up your left foot this time. Three like a dog. And on your next inhalation, bring it to your nose. Then step it in between your palm. Once again, come up to your warrior one. I'm just going to change sides for you so that you'll be able to see this clearly. So once again, come back up to your warrior one. Your hips are square towards the front of the mat. Look towards the ceiling. Sink a bit lower, stay here and breathe. And then from your warrior one this time, bring your palms to your heart centre. Float your leg, come to your warrior three. From your warrior three now, on your next inhalation, drop your back leg down, come into your warrior two. Very nice, just in here, breathe. In your warrior two, drop your palm down, come into your extended side angle, look towards your palm. On your next inhalation, flip the arms, Revolve, side angle, sink a bit lower, and then come back up, warrior two, then cut with the hands down, float your back leg back, standing split, look towards your shin, and then bring your foot down, come back, warrior one, then place your hands down on the ground, step your back foot back, Come into your child's pose, or if you'd like, take a vinyasa. And if you did take a vinyasa from your downward facing dog, this time drop your knees down. Come to your child's pose, and we just meet there. Keep breathing here. Very nice. Next inhalation, once again, walk your palm back. Come to sit on your ankles. Forget about everything else that's around us. And just sit here and breathe. Let our heart rate slow down a little bit. Before we just come into our very nice seated stretches. So in your next inhalation, slowly blink open your eyes. And then just come to a very seat, nice seated position on the floor. If you like, stretch out both legs. And from here, you're just going to bring in your right knee first. Come to a, into your Janu Shrisasara. We're just going to raise up the hand just here. And as you exhale, it's going to bring your palms to find your foot. Look towards your toes, and usually in the morning we're a bit stiff, so just be very kind and gentle to yourself. So as you inhale, lengthen the back once again. And as you exhale, maybe fold a bit deeper, still focusing your gaze on your big toe. Stay here and breathe. 
Very nice. On your next inhalation, come all the way back up. Change sides. So this time, with your right leg extended forward once again as you inhale, straighten the back. Look towards your big toe. And as you exhale, fold from your hips. Catch your foot or your, or your ankle if you can. If not, just hold your shin. Your gaze remains in your big toe as you inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, fold a bit deeper. That is for you today. Just keep breathing here. And on your next inhalation, come all the way back up to center. We're just going to change sides once again. Sometimes, you know, you just need to slowly ease yourself back into the pose to really get it all, your whole body really stretched. So once again, inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, fold a bit deeper. Maybe this time you can go a bit deeper because you're a bit more warmed up now. Look towards your big toe. Very nice. Stay in here and breathe for three breaths. Go a little bit deeper for two more breaths. And stay very strong here for one more breath. On your next inhalation, come back up to center and we will change sides once again. So this time with your right leg extended forward as you inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, fold from the hips. Catch your foot if you can, maybe go a bit deeper this time. Once again, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold a bit deeper. Look towards your big toe if you can to keep your back straight. Very nice. On your next inhalation, after three breaths. If my breathing's a bit fast, you can take, a bit, take it a bit slower. On your next inhalation, come all the way back up to center. This time, bring both feet into your balakonasana. And if you're in your balakonasana, your butterfly pose, once again on your next inhalation, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, forward from the hips. Looking forward, feel a very nice stretch in your hip flexors. If you'd like to use your elbows, push your legs down. You can take that option. Stay in here and breathe and feel the stretch. On your next inhalation, come all the way up. Take a breath over here before you push your feet a bit further forward, coming to a diamond shape this time. As you inhale, lengthen the spine first. And as you exhale, then round the spine. Bring your head. Find a touch with your feet. Or come into the center of the diamond. You want to feel a very nice stretch. Once again on your hip flexors. Maybe a bit deeper for you, this stretch. But just stay here and breathe. For three breaths. On your next inhalation, come all the way up. Pause for a little while. Observe any differences, any tingling sensations. And when you're ready, straighten out your feet. We'll come into Paschimottanasana, forward fold. So when I am usually coming to Paschimottanasana, I like to peel the flesh from below my sit bone so that nothing's in the way to really fold forward. And once I'm here, I just straighten up the back once again. Inhale, lift up the palms and hands towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, fold from your hips. Maybe catch your shin, maybe catch your ankles, maybe catch your feet. Try and hold a bit closer towards your heels so you're not pulling your foot backwards like this. But you're just holding the heels for support. As you inhale, lengthen the spine once again. 
And as you exhale this time, fold a bit deeper, look towards your big toes. This is a very intense stretch, so if you can't go all the way down, that's perfectly fine. Just be kind and gentle to yourself wherever you are today. With every inhalation, lengthen the spine a little more. And as you exhale, fold a bit deeper. Stay in here and breathe for three breaths. On your next inhalation, and come all the way back up to center. Sit with a straight back for a little while before you slowly move your way down to lie on the ground. When you're lying over here now, just raise your left leg up, come into a figure of four. Your right knee helps to support where your ankle is at. Fold it into a 90 degrees. If that's where you like to drop it, that's perfectly fine as well. And then wrap your palm where your thigh is at. And as you inhale, just prepare yourself. And as you exhale, pull your entire leg towards your body in your figure of four. Feel the very nice stretch, very deep stretch, I must say on your entire hip flexors as well as your glutes of your left thigh. Keep pulling it as close as you can to your body, but know where your limit is and pause. Stay here and breathe. On your next inhalation, release the leg and then slowly change sides. So once again, this time on your right side, you wanna be mindful that your ankle is by your left knee or left thigh. Your palms are holding on to your left thigh, the back of it. And as you inhale, I like to try and straighten my back a little bit even though I'm lying down. And as you exhale, just pull the entire thigh towards your body. If your hands get a bit cramped, just walk your entire arm inside a little more. Maybe wrap your arms around each other as you pull your entire knee towards your body. Feel a very nice and intense stretch on your right glutes and right thigh. Stay here and breathe again for three breaths. On your next inhalation, release the legs, bring it down, toes of the feet to touch the floor and then maybe just shake it out a little bit. And this time, bring your feet as wide as the mat, your knees are able to touch each other. If you have the space, open up your palms, if not you can cactus it, whatever feels comfortable for you today. And then drop both knees to the right. Pause for a little while. Bring both knees back up to center. Drop it to the left. Pause for a little while here. Once again, bring it to the right. This time, go a bit faster. Windshield wipe your legs. That's what we always call it in yoga class. Just really rock out your hips. Maybe massaging your lower back a little more. And then slowly come back to stillness in the center. Stretch your right leg out. Bring your left knee towards your chest. Give it a little squeeze over here before you drop it over to your right side. Give yourself a very nice spinal twist. Stay here and breathe. It is difficult to ground your shoulders to the floor, but try to inch them 
a little closer with every inhalation and every exhalation. On your next inhalation, bring your left knee all the way back up. This time, straighten the left knee. Curl in the right leg. Give it a tight squeeze. It's a very nice stretch when you do this. And then slowly drop the right knee over to the left. Look towards the right. Stay in here and breathe. Inhalation once again, bring your knee all the way up to center. This time, hug both knees to your chest, give it a very tight squeeze, give yourself a very nice hug. Then, maybe slowly bring your forehead to touch your knees, curl up into a small ball, and then slowly release your head down to the ground. Bring both feet, maybe the soles of the feet to touch. Just lie here for a little while, pause, and recognize the difference. Take this time to feel gratitude to yourself for the wonderful practice. Take this time to feel thankful that the sun rises every day and sets every evening. Take this time now to appreciate the people who are working very hard to keep us safe and healthy Take this time now to be grateful for your loved ones, no matter where they are in this world or how far away they may feel or be. Slowly straighten out your legs. Stretch your arms overhead, give yourself Whole long stretch like your chest woken up once again. Roll over to the right side. Pause. And then push yourself slowly up. Come to a very comfortable seated position. Rise so close. Please scan through your body now. Identify what feels light and what may need a bit more attention throughout today. Wherever you are in your yoga practice, you are meant to be exactly there. Palms to heart center. Thank you for joining me in today's class. Give yourself a gentle bow. Come all the way back up. Slowly blink over your eyes. And as you go out today, I would like to wish you all the kindness in the world. Be kind to yourself, be kind to your neighbor, be kind to whoever is with you, whoever you meet. Once again, my name is JT, and thank you for joining me.